Team leaders, you are one of the most important parts of the race. See, because a big part of the race is just building relationships, peer-to-peer -peer relationships, but also adult-to-peer relationships. So pretty much if you don't hear anything else in the rest of this video, what I want you to hear is your most important role is building relationships with the youth on your team. Now there's going to be a lot more leaders on your team than just you, so don't worry that you are the only one in charge of a team of 40 youth. That's not the case. There's usually anywhere between 8 to 12 adults involved in every single team, and you're going to be one of those. And team leaders oversee all the activities. So we'll go through, we'll talk through the rules of game, and team leaders, you need to be the ones that help organize the youth as they make decisions about who's going to compete in what, what kind of strategies do we want to have when it comes to those pieces. And we want you guys to be kind of main cheerleaders too. It's going to be easy sometimes for some of the games, if it's just the junior high girls that are competing, it's going to be easy for the rest of your team to kind of get bored or to wander off or something like that. So do your best to be a cheerleader for that and to get the other groups involved in encouraging the, the people in your team that are actually going to be competing or doing a game at, at that point. Encourage your youth to step outside of, of their comfort zone, to build some new friends, to uh, have some new experiences, because remember the race is about being challenged, and it's about building new relationships, and it's going to be very easy for some of our youth um, to just connect with two or three different people and kind of stay in their own bubble. So do your best to encourage our youth to branch out, to reach out, to build new relationships. And keep an eye out for any of those youth that really just might not be connecting, that might have a, a hard time fitting in somewhere. And a lot of times you'll see that because they're standing by themselves, or even if they're you know with a group of people, they're just a little bit outside the circle. So just keep your eye open as much as you can for any of those youth that... that aren't quite connecting with the rest of the team like some other people are, and do everything that you can to, uh, to get them connected. You could start by having some conversations with them, reaching out to them. Go to some of the upperclassmen, some of the people that you've seen as, as leaders in your group and saying, hey, I've noticed that this person hasn't quite connected. Be sure to be intentional about getting them involved in different things that you're doing. Um, one of the aspects of being a team leader is following up with new or missing youth, um, either at the end of the race on each Sunday or on Monday or Tuesday of each week. You'll be getting an email from me that kind of lays out who were the new folks in your group, who were the folks that were missing, and it'll give you their information. And we ask that you follow up with them. If they were new, just a quick text or a phone call saying, hey, it was so awesome to have you as a part of the team. We really hope you're going to be there next year or, or next week. Or if it's someone that was absent one week, just following up with them and saying, hey, we really missed you this week. You know, here's how we did. Here's some of the games that we played. Really hope to see you next week. But that's such a key part also of what we're trying to do. We're trying to build relationships. And such a huge part of that would be if someone was here one week and then the next week, if they got a call from one of the leaders, you know, that really expresses value that they were missed, that we really want them to be around to be a part of it. Um, something that I say a lot to some of our leaders is that a youth's enthusiasm will never exceed that of their leader. So the more pumped up, the more crazy, the more excited that you get about the race, about your team, about the games, the more that you're going to see your youth get to that level. If we're not there, if we're just kind of showing up and standing around and not really doing much, then there's going to be a lot more of a temptation for our youth to do a lot of those same pieces. So be on the lookout for people you can build relationships with, any youth that might have a hard time uh, connecting. So a, a, a team leader, a day in the life of a team leader, a Sunday during the race would look something like this. We want you to be in the youth center right after second service ends, usually around 1045. We want you to be dressed in your team color. Um, over the top is encouraged but not required. Get to know your youth as leaders, maybe even split responsibility. So this one person say, hey, you get to know the seventh graders. This one person say, hey, you make sure that you're reaching out to the upperclassmen, whatever is best for your group. Help your team check in. We're going to have to ask that two leaders are at your team's registration table, which are in rooms one and two. Um, others just can be mingling in the main area, hanging out with other teams, getting to know the youth, different things like that. 
There's going to be a team time every week, which is about 15 minutes for your team to get together in a designated area. And this is a time for you to organize any of the, the games that you're going to know of at that point. You can talk about strategy. You can work on scripture memorization. Work on cheers. Work on strategies for inviting your friends. You can do anything that you need to do in order to build your team up. You kind of have um, some freedom when it comes to that 15 minutes to do whatever you guys feel like you need to do as, as a team. Uh, sometimes you'll be asked to compete in the games if you're willing to do so. Uh, be head cheerleaders during the games, encouraging your friends. And then follow-up is going to be a pretty big part of, of the job, which doesn't have to take a lot of time, especially with Facebook um, and texting. You know, it'll probably be about five or ten minutes, especially depending on how you split it among team members, who's going to follow up with who. But that is an important part. We want to make sure that every new person and every visitor gets followed up with every week so that they know that they're valued and that we want them to be a part of what we're doing here. And again, number one job, team leaders, to know and build relationships with, uh, with the youth. Ask questions, get to know them. And if you need some help and having to, learning how to do that or asking the right questions, then I would be happy to help out with that. So team leaders, thank you for what you're going to be doing. It is such an important part of what we're doing in the race. And if you can't remember anything else, have fun and build relationships with youth on your team.